play the classic game of Would You Rather, and it's probably gonna get weird, but it should be fun. Hello, everybody! I'm Kindly Kid, and we're starting off with a kind of spicy Would You Rather. Be unknown, but do amazing things that change the world, or be popular, but do no good. Hey, it's me. I'm somewhat popular and do nothing good for the world. You know, honestly, I, I would prefer to be unknown and do amazing things that change the world. Like that one guy who no one knows about. Look at that, 66% of people agree. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking, this is controversial. Eat only pizza for one year or eat no pizza for one year. Now let's be real. Pizza is delicious. It's also very bad for you. So eating only pizza for one year, especially when, you know, I, I should be watching what I eat, could have some catastrophic effects on my long-term health. However, eating no pizza for one year would make me sad because pizza is so good. Man, that is tough. But for me personally, I would take no pizza because I want to stay healthy for my children. And actually, 58% of people agree with me. But pizza's really good. And it's only one year, so, you know, we'll survive. Would you rather plant flowers or plant trees? I don't know. I never thought about that until this very moment. I think that they're both kind of, you know, cool, fun activities. And they're both doing something good. Flowers are nice to look at, right? They smell nice. They're pretty. But... They don't last as long as trees. And I feel like trees, like, if you plant a tree and then you come back 20 years later, you're like, I planted that tree. And it's, you know, in, I, I'm going to say plant trees. I feel like it has a, a longer term sort of satisfaction rate. Plant trees. Let's go. Hey, 60% people agree with me. Okay, we're, we're going back to my waistline. Have to eat dessert at every meal or never eat dessert again. Oh, my God. Gosh, that's brutal. Okay, same logic as the pizza thing, although this is definitely longer lasting. I, I can survive without dessert. I'm gonna say never eat dessert again, as much as it pains my soul. Only 46% of people agree with me on that one. I, I, I'm sorry. Would you rather travel with your parents or travel by yourself? I don't... I'd probably just rather travel by myself. Am I a bad person? 41% of people disagree with me. Okay, fine. Would I rather kiss Jason Voorhees or kiss Michael Myers? Now, I don't know a ton about either of these guys. What I do know is that they're not the nicest fellas. They do tend to carry sharp objects with them. I'm really not familiar with either of them, to be honest. I haven't seen either of the movies that they are in. But Jason Voorhees, like, he has like claws in his hands, right? Is that right? No, I'm thinking of Freddy Krueger with the, the, the sharp nail sort of things. They got. Jason Voorhees is an ax guy. And then Michael Myers, I think he's like a knife guy, right? I'm going with Jason. Just because Michael has a the weird face. Oh, okay, apparently I'm wrong. Whatever. Ah, die right now in this moment? What happens if I answer this one incorrectly? Oh no. Or live forever. I'm, I'm gonna say live forever. I, I would say that seems pretty good compared to being dead. Gosh. <laughs> okay, this should be interesting. Be pretty, but have an ugly singing voice or be unattractive, but have the most amazing singing voice. What if you're both? I mean, basically what I'm saying is that I'm ugly and I can't sing. So in real life, I have neither of these things. So I'm winning either one I choose. Now, what would I prefer to be pretty or to sing real good? Hmm, that's a tough one. I don't really sing all that often, but I mean, you can make a pretty successful career being a good singer who's not all that great to look at. So you know what? I'm going with amazing singing voice. Hey, I stuck with the majority. Have a twin of the same gender as you or have a twin of the opposite gender as you. I don't know. Like, I mean, obviously, if you're twins, you're the same age, right? So you're going to have similar interests, but you're also going to be just like any other sibling, right? Like you're going to have disagreements. 
Sometimes you're not gonna get along. It doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. I feel like if I grew up with a brother who was the same exact age as me, had a lot of similar interests to me, that would be fun growing up. However, I would say a sister, maybe later on in life, might be more interesting to have as a friend because she's gonna have like, you know, a different sort of perspective on things and I don't know that, hmm. I'm gonna go with opposite gender. Let's see what people think. That is crazy. That's almost exactly the same. There's like a 350 point difference here on the, the same gender as you. Wow, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> be naked or have no shirt. What? <laughs> so be naked or be slightly less naked is the question here. I'm gonna go with be slightly less naked, especially because I'm on camera right now. That would be weird for me, but especially for you guys. Would I rather be a fish that cannot swim or be a very slow turtle without a shell? Oh, what would I do if I was a fish that couldn't swim? Like, what do you do? You have to live in water. Could I like, could I get some kind of flotation device that, that helps me? But then on the other side, a slow turtle without a shell. I mean, turtles are already pretty slow, right? Although they can swim pretty good. But the problem is if you don't have a shell, you're kind of losing your your protection. But a fish, I mean, is, isn't a fish basically a turtle with no shell? <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm gonna go with a, a slow turtle. Let's see what people think about that one. Yeah, okay, I was, I was right. Even though would you rathers don't have a right or a wrong answer, I feel right. Oh no, this is definitely one of those like superhero decisions. Save the love of your life. Save an entire city with millions of people. Do you do the selfish thing or do you do the thing that everybody's gonna praise you for but then be real sad afterwards? I'm gonna be the selfish guy and save the person I love most. Oh my gosh. Apparently people don't like New York City, sorry if you live in New York. Would you rather lose your hair or lose your eyebrows? Um, for those of you who have been around for a while, you know I got eyebrows. Guess what I don't have? Hair on my head. <laughs> so yeah, I'd rather lose my hair. Um, is it saying lose hair on your head or is it saying lose hair all over your body? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I've made my choice. Would I rather be Dwayne The Rock Johnson or be John Cena? I mean, they both have similar careers, right? Like wrestling, movie star. I would say Dwayne is probably a bigger movie star than John Cena. I don't know, man. I mean, being in the Fast and the Furious movies, that seems pretty cool. You drive cars real fast, right? Yeah, I'd probably rather be Dwayne Johnson. And most people agree. Not that being John Cena would be bad. I mean, the guy's got a pretty good thing going for sure this is interesting become a famous cartoon maker or be the richest man on earth i don't really i don't really see the connection here i mean i guess you could still be very rich if you were the most famous cartoon maker right i mean it's like walt disney basically or be the absolute richest man on earth it probably gets to a point where it's like you're too rich you just don't need anything else so you know i i feel like it would be more fulfilling to be a famous cartoon maker and i apparently am wrong and for the record i'd love to see like what you guys feel about my choices what you would choose personally leave some comments in the comment section let's let's talk about it would i rather be able to stop time or be able to fly both great superpowers which one's better though ah man i mean i feel like if you're trying to be a superhero, like save people. I feel like the ability to stop time is pretty insane. Like, can I just stop time and then not restart time for like a really long time? Cause you could basically save everyone. You just stop time and then go over to that guy, keep him from falling off of a bridge and then, and then stop time again and then go over to that lady who's about to get mugged and then stop time again and you get the point. But that's a lot of traveling too. <laughs> Getting around. I mean, for everyone else, you stop time, right? But you still have to get to all the different situations. Now being able to fly, that's pretty stinking awesome. Let's take out the superhero thing. 
I'm just gonna say be able to fly. That just seems more fun. And I'm the very wrong. <laughs> People want to stop time. All right, fine. Have it your way. Would I rather be ugly for a year or be crazy for a year? I guess just be ugly for a year. Doesn't seem that bad. Make up for it with personality and charm. Would I rather be a mouse or be a wolf? Being a mouse seems kind of boring. Also seems really dangerous. Like everything will eat you. Whereas being a wolf seems like sweet. Definitely be a wolf. Yeah. Most people agree. Because wolves are awesome. Would I rather have no siblings or have no cousins? I'm not really all that close to any of my cousins. Whereas my brother, I mean, we, we talk pretty often. So I feel like I have no cousins. I guess it just depends on the, the layout of your family. Would I rather have incredible strength but look weak? or be weak, but look incredibly strong. I like this one a lot. Honestly, I like being like stealthy awesome at something, right? Like that feels way cooler because you can throw people off. Absolutely would love to have incredible strength, but look super weak. Just walking down the street, suddenly a car is careening down a steep hill. It's lost all control, no brakes. You step out in the street and put your arm out. Stop it. Little scrawny guy. Stopping a car with one hand. That would be sick. Yeah, let's go with that. And yeah, most people agree. All right, fine. Whatever. I thought I was being cool and different. Would I rather be trapped in an elevator with an old lady and her three wet dogs or be trapped in an elevator with three fat men with bad breath? <laughs> it's such a weird situation. I would rather not be trapped in an elevator ever for the record. That seems terrifying. I'd take the old lady. I like dogs. I mean, yeah, wet dogs are kind of stinky, but oh, but what if they what if they poop? I mean, how long are you going to be stuck in that elevator? The dogs might just let it go, right? Like a human is going to hold it as long as they possibly can. A dog's going to be like, I already poop on the floor. So what if it's in an elevator? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still sticking with the wet dogs. I mean, are the, are the fat men breathing on me, though? Like, they have bad breath, but like, it, how bad is it? Like, what's the range on that bad breath? Either way, I'm going with the dogs. I like dogs, and most people do too. Would I rather eat only the food that I hate or drink only the drinks that I hate? What are some foods that I hate? You know what food I actually hate is canned tuna. Like a canned tuna sandwich? I cannot stand that. So if that was the only thing I could eat, that would be pretty bad. Now, what's something that I hate to drink? I don't know. I've never really thought about like drinks that I absolutely hate. I feel like, I mean, if I drink a lot of milk, that's gonna make me feel real sick. I'm actually lactose intolerant, but I don't hate milk. I just, it just makes me feel real sick. So let's say like I have to drink milk on one side. I have to eat tuna on the other side. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty tough because I know the milk doesn't taste bad, but uh, it will cause some problems later on. Whereas the tuna, it tastes bad, but it's pretty good for you. Um, it's, you know, nutritious and all that. Oh, gosh. I, uh, I'm going to say eat. No, I'm going to say drink the milk. Drink only the, the drinks that I hate. And most people agree. Yeah, I'm going to pay for it. Trust me, I will pay for it. Okay, this is one of those things again. Look fat, but be the fastest person. Or be like super skinny, but be the strongest person. I want to be the fat guy who can outrun any Olympic runner. That seems awesome. Would I rather play games or, hear me out, play one game? Mario Kart, which is a great game for the record. This is a terrible would you rather. Would you rather play all the games or would you rather play just one game? I would rather play all the games. Would I rather discover the Loch Ness Monster or discover Bigfoot? Okay, I'm trying to think about this a little bit differently. Like, obviously both mythical creatures that no one has confirmed if they actually exist or not. But which one it would be more dangerous to discover? That's what I'm thinking. Like, Loch Ness Monster is big, right? Like, basically, a dragon that lives in a lake. Whereas Bigfoot, you know what I mean? He's like a gorilla in a forest. 
which would still be scary. But I feel like I could outrun Bigfoot. Maybe, no, I don't know. He's got big feet. They're perfect for running. Could I outswim the Loch Ness Monster? Or is the Loch Ness Monster like so big? It's like a whale. Like it just doesn't care that you're there. It's like, what are you gonna do to me? I'm just here living my life. You're taking pictures of me. Cool, whatever. I'm gonna go eat. Whereas Bigfoot's like, oh, you caught me? Now I gotta get you. Yeah, you know what? I'm going with Loch Ness Monster. I would rather discover the Loch Ness Monster. Bigfoot scares me. Would I rather watch a time lapse on YouTube or watch a commentary video on YouTube? I don't really know what that means. <laughs> As a YouTuber myself, I don't know what this is. I know what a time lapse is. I mean, like, yeah, you take something that changes over time and then you speed it up so you get to see it change quickly, right? A commentary video, I mean, that could be anything. And I probably do watch commentary videos. Which ones do I watch more often? Probably commentary videos. So yeah, people seem to like time lapses. Maybe I should start doing more time lapses. I did time lapses for the, the Lego things that I built. They're, they're shorts. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but I did little shorts on my YouTube channel of me building different Lego sets. Like the Bowser, that guy back there. Am I pointing at him? I can't really tell. Would I rather buy Google stock or buy Apple stock? A fun fact, I own Google stock. I don't think I own Apple stock, but it also depends on the timing. I mean, if you bought Apple stock like 30 years ago, you're probably doing all right. If you bought Google stock uh, probably like 20 years ago, you're probably doing all right. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. Sure, I'll buy a Google stock because, you know, they own YouTube. <laughs> They're kind of like my boss. Not really, but kinda. Would I rather be alive until the sun blows up or die when I turn 40? I mean, is the sun gonna blow up in the next four years? I hope not, and I'm gonna go with that because I feel like I'm much closer to 40 <laughs> than I am to the sun blowing up. So let's go with the sun blowing up, and most people would agree. Would I rather have a twin or be an only child? Man, that is, that's a good would you rather. Have a twin, built-in friend, always around. Can also be a little irritating, cause they're always around. I feel like it would just be more fun. If you're an only child, I mean, you do kind of get to do your own thing. You get your parents' attention, that's for sure. Is that good or bad? I don't know, it depends. I would say have a twin. I think overall that would be more fun. Would I rather be my own boss or work for someone else? I know we talked about Google kind of being my boss. Obviously that's not true. They don't. They can't tell me what to do. So yeah, I am my own boss. And to be honest, I used to work for someone else. I worked for other people for a very long time. I had bosses. They were good bosses. I would not want to go back to having to have bosses. <laughs> I like being my own boss. So yeah, be your own boss. I think that's pretty obvious. Oh my gosh, spend your entire life without your family. Spend an entire life without your friends. I am a family guy and I love my family. I'm sorry to all my friends who might be watching this. I'm spending my entire life with my family, not with my friends. Would I rather be the ugliest person alive but live forever or be the prettiest person alive but only live for 50 years? I mean, as neither the ugliest person alive and not even remotely close to the prettiest person alive, I, I would say just being alive is, is better than, you know, not. So let's be ugly and live forever. Nice. Uh, I'm, uh, people like being pretty, I guess. Would I rather watch Star Wars or watch Harry Potter? 100% Star Wars. Like I am a big old Star Wars nerd. What can I say? I'll even watch episode one through three. And speaking of Star Wars is, would I rather own a matte black lightsaber that hides you and stealth kill? like a ninja Jedi, or own a very bright lightsaber that blinds your opponents. Uh, would it blind you as well? <laughs> like, you're always wearing like the, the mask that like welders wear. I like that idea. That seems real stupid. I'm the welder Jedi. Yeah, let's go with welder Jedi. I'm definitely in the minority there. Oh, well, that's me.